Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just filmed my guest bedroom must have, I'm cut, so I'm doing a tiny little series of guest, kind of guest or must have items for your guest at your house. The first video that I put out earlier this week was my guest bedroom must haves. And today I wanted to tell you guys about some of the items that I like to include in my guest bathroom. So sometimes when you're packing your things for, you know, when you go out of town, there's always going to be, or almost always going to be one of those things that you forgot. So I like to include in my guest bathroom, I like to offer my guests some little mini travel size toiletries. So shampoo, conditioner, mini toothpaste, Q-tips, just it, body wash. I think I even have a couple little body sponges in there just in case, cause I don't really love using washcloths as much as I love those little sponges. So, um, or little body scrubbers. And so if my guests happen to forget any of that, they can just use those while they're here. And then if there's anything left, they can just take it home with them, especially the little sponges. Of course, I'm not going to have those reused on my different guests, but if they need those, they can take them back home with them if they need it or just keep it in their travel bag for the future. So if they need those, those are available. On a side note to that, a lot of times my sister will come visit and she'll bring my nieces and my nephews. So I've also included some little kids travel size items like little kids shampoo or body wash, things like that, because sometimes that needs to be a little different, maybe the tear free kind. And just, I like to provide it for not, not only for my adult guests, but also my little, my little nieces and nephew and things like that. And kind of in conjunction with those toiletries, I like to have plenty of extra toothbrushes. So adult toothbrushes down to children's toothbrushes. Um, I don't think there's much worse than forgetting your toothbrush because you have to brush your teeth. I mean, if you forget shampoo, I don't know, there's ways around it. You can borrow somebody else's, you can borrow your host's shampoo maybe, but you can't borrow a toothbrush. So I like to have those extra toothbrushes. That way, if my guests happen to forget them, they don't have to worry about going to the store and buying a new toothbrush. And a good place to stock up on extra toothbrushes and probably extra little toiletries in general. I haven't actually checked out the toiletry section there, um, like I should, but I know that the Dollar Tree has tons of great toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, things like that. So that would be a great place to stock up on these things. So the next thing that I like to always make sure to provide to my guests in the bathroom are fresh, clean towels. And you can either stack them up in the guest bathroom so they have them right there or my hall pantry closet is where I keep our fresh towels and just so my guests know that they can use as many towels as they want or as many washcloths as they want, things like that. Um, hand towels. I like to provide as much as I can for them while they're here. I like to just make sure that they know here's the whole closet it's right outside the guest bathroom. Maybe keep a couple towels in the bathroom just in case they forgot a towel because I'm sure that would be terrible if they end up getting out of the shower and think, oh, there's no towels. Of course, there's a little towel bar right outside of my shower. I like to make sure there are two big clean towels right there. So they're always going to have those towels just in case. But I like to point out, here's the hall pantry. There's, or here's the hall closet where we have all of our little, all of our, the rest of our towels. So feel free to grab as many as you need. I know I like when I'm showering, I like to have a hair towel and then I like to have a body towel, two separate ones. And so as many towels as my guests need, I like to just say, grab, grab whatever you need. And if you can't do anything, I would say this is the most important thing to do is just to make sure that you have a clean bathroom. I am such a germaphobe. I don't like taking baths, even in my own bathtub. I will do it very rarely. I mean, I love the idea of a bath, but just, I can't handle the, I don't know what's wrong with me, but but especially, I don't like to shower outside of my house. I do. I'm not that, you know, I'm not quite that much of a germaphobe. I will shower outside of my house, but I don't like it. I don't like to shower in any other shower except my own. I know my own is clean. I don't know. I'm just weird that way. But if, when you have guests, I'm sure I can't imagine going to somebody's house and just having to shower in a filthy shower. Oh, that would just be so disgusting. So if you don't do anything on this list, do this. Or if, if you do nothing else on this list, I would say pick this one to do and to have a clean bathroom for your guests before they arrive. So I said earlier that there's nothing worse than forgetting your toothbrush, but I think I have thought of something worse. And that is running out of toilet paper when you're sitting there on the toilet and you're at a guest house and you're, you're looking around like, okay, what am I supposed to do? When you're at a, someone else's house, sitting there running out of toilet paper, 
is never a good thing. It's not like you're gonna call for them to bring you extra toilet paper. So just make sure that you have plenty of extra toilet paper handy in your guest bathroom. So maybe put a couple rolls on the back of the toilet, or I have a little toilet paper holder right next to my toilet, and it's always stocked with plenty of toilet paper. So my guests can easily reach it just in case they need to. Another thing I like to keep on the back of my toilets is poopery. I don't know if you all have heard of this, but it's something that you can spray down into the toilet. It kind of makes a coat or like a film on top of the water in the toilet. And then if you have to do your business, it, it masks those bad odors that you could get while going to the bathroom. And it really does work. So I, I don't know if you all have ever seen, if you haven't heard of this, look it up. Look up the advertisements for Poopery. I'll show you in a clip of my bathroom of this product because the, the advertisements are hilarious. So just go watch those, they're hilarious. But it really is a, a nice thing to have for the guest bathroom just so, you know, you don't have to have any embarrassment in the bathroom. I also like to keep an extra hair dryer in my bathroom. This is something I know a lot of, um, it's a big thing that you have to pack. A hair dryer is just so big and bulky. And if your guests know that you have one available for them, it just makes it to where they don't have to pack their own. It's a nice thing to have to leave, get to leave out of your, your overnight bag when you're, when they're staying at your house. So I like to make sure that they know there is an extra hair dryer. It's under the cabinet or it's in the cabinet in the, in the bathroom. So feel free to use it if you need it. I like to make sure that my guests have plenty of clean counter space. So I'm really blessed in my guest bathroom. There's a pretty big counter. So even if you didn't have a ton of space, just try not to clutter up the space that you do have. So keeping extra little knickknacks or decoration, things like that, try to avoid doing that in the bathroom as much as possible, just to allow them to have the space to unpack their items and plenty of space to just sprawl out however they need to while they're staying at your house. And the last thing I'll mention is a nightlight. So if you're staying at somebody else's house and you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, it can technically be kind of a dangerous thing. You could have falls and things like that if you're not used to where you're stepping. So I like to light the path to the bathroom. So if you have a long haul, maybe putting a nightlight in the hallway and in the bathroom, but that way they're not having to turn on all the lights in the middle of the night and wake themselves up completely. They just have those night lights to kind of guide the way and then a nightlight once they're in the bathroom. So I hope these tips have helped you to get, get inspired on how to create a warm and inviting, not only a guest bathroom like we talked about today, but in my previous video of a guest bedroom, and just kind of give your guests a little home away from home. I just love entertaining people. I love entertaining guests. I love it when people come to stay at my house. And whatever I can do to make them feel the most at home, I definitely try to do it. Definitely let me know if there are some things that I left out that you do for your guests, whether it be for the guest bedroom or the guest bathroom. Let us know in the comments down below. I always love to get new ideas about this. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video today. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. You guys have a great rest of the day. Bye.